Taurus uh, soul here. And Taurus, uh, this is going to be your week ahead. Uh, energies are going to start December 21st and end December 27th, 2020. Energies for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Taurus Rising. Taurus, I'm using the Arcana uh, Tarot deck once more to deliver your energies. Uh, the only thing different this week is that I've uh, the few cards that were reversed last week. I just went through the deck and uh, turned them upright. So all the cards here uh, should be in the upright position. All right. So without further ado, let's jump into the energies here to see what is coming up for you. And we always start off with that shadow. And for you, Taurus, we want to begin with the shadow energy of the Four of Swords. OK, so the Four of Swords is the rest, relaxation, rejuvenation card, taking a break. Disconnecting your energies from an entity on a temporary basis that could be, you know, simply with the holiday, uh, you know, coming up here, you know, Christmas and could be just a vacation day, could be just for that day. Um, but normally I usually get doing something if you were breaking away from uh, and any types of entities, it could be a relationship. It could be, you know, like I said, your job, uh, friendships or whatnot. Pull yourself away from those energies and do something exclusively for yourself. Remember, the key words here is rest, relaxation, rejuvenation. However, this is the minor card that's showing up in your shadow. And again, minor cards may or may not express themselves. Major cards, major arcanas, you know, negative or positive definitely will. The Four of Swords represents Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So this card is asking you, this is my codependent card, um, you know, return to uh, your independence or, you know, your freedom. Do, but in doing so, you have to break away or cut loose temporarily, momentarily away from those energies because the fours are still, I'm sorry, the four of swords are still challenging. So you don't want to build it up any higher than the four. And so we have it at the four, but it's asking you at this stage, okay, take it easy on yourself, Taurus. You need to take a break. Something that you might be doing is leading or building up to some sort of stress. And this is the card that comes in to say, okay, halt right there. Whatever it is that you're doing or overdoing, uh, just, you know, take a chill pill. All right. So four swords is in your shadow. And, um, What's starting you off is the uh, Ace of Wands. That's your focus for the week. So this is the card of inspiration. This is the initializer. Aces always start things off. This is, however, with the Ace of Wands, it's always relative to uh, a passion of, you know, possibly for some of you creative pursuits. You may be already a hobbyist, but you may become even more passionate about it because this here is expressing itself. When it comes to news, you could be the bearer of some sort of good news. It's always that good news and or surprises that may come your way. Uh, so yeah, tap into any types of creative uh, talents that you may have, singing, writing, dancing, poetry, you name it. It's here. Ace of Ace of Wands is always relative uh, about that energy. All right. So we start off pretty good here as the focus. Let's keep it going. Then we have the Major Arcana Temperance. OK, Temperance is a very good card because it represents not only relationships, but it's a balancing type of energy. So this is a card of peace. It's a card of harmony. Uh, I did mention relationships, so it could be following the Ace of Wands, the startup of a new relationship, um, romantic, platonic. It also is, uh, I regard her as the mother nature. So it could be just spending quality time outdoors, as I always say, you know, enjoying uh, mother nature and God's beauty, but balancing or some type of um, energy is restored to you in a good way. Okay. Seeking balance, restoration of balance. Uh, temperance represents Sagittarius, uh, Aries, and Leo. So you got a, a good card there. Oh, man, you got a major arcana here, uh, the Emperance card. So there's something that's growing, something that's developing. Uh, this is also to Mother Nature. So again, it could be what I just said about the Temperance card. Pregnancy news for females, childbirth news there's the news right there. Okay, so somebody finds out that they're pregnant, possibly during this week. Someone gives, or there, you could be hearing news about someone who has delivered a child. Um, <clears throat> this also, too, is relationships, but I also to get um, anything related to beauty. So it could be, you know, people who are interested in uh, cosmo yeah, cosmetology. 
doing hair, doing nails. Uh, it does mirror the Ace of Wands, so that could be part of the creativity or the expression of something or of interest that you like to do. Empress is a very powerful card here, and it follows one other powerful um, major arcana. So you got two major arcanas. Correction, you got three. And I did say, during the in-between shuffling, I have a tendency of having to flip these cards around here. But the next card that comes up after the Major Arcana is the Major Arcana, the Justice card. So the Justice card is here. And Taurus, you have three Major Arcanas here. Very strong Major Arcanas. Justice card simply means, um, you know, justice being served, things being in your favor. Could be some legal stuff going on for some bulls this upcoming week. Then if it is a judgment that is handed down, uh, then the judgment is usually in your favor. The scales, just like the... Um, temperance card it mirrors the temperance card it's about being balanced okay having some sort of balancing energy but this is something that is strongly or positively going to be in your favor whatever that may be whether and then the paperwork or the scroll down here or the it's a scroll or paperwork so that could be um anything related to you know the character here could be representative of a judge then this is um something that you may be waiting for or wanting to hear. Remember, it also uh, mirrors the Ace of Wands in good news and surprises, but it could be attached to um, anything legal. Okay, so that could be almost anything. You know, just put your imagination to it. So when it comes to uh, justice, it could be um, a decision that is favored or handed uh, towards you. So that could be work-related. That could be anything uh, involving lawsuits, um, anything else. Anything else it could be something related to a business. Uh, so the Justice card represents uh, air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So what follows that is the Seven of Wands. This is my uh, Do Not Fold, Stand Your Ground card. Okay, so what's important here is that um, whatever you got going on, uh, this upcoming week in terms of uh, taking action or making decisions and may be connected to that four swords energies in some type of way. Um, stick to your guts, you know, don't, you know, succumb to your own energies and changing your mind. And then these wands here would be uh, other people or external issues trying to or not issues, but external energies trying to get you to uh, change your mind or some form of persuasion. Well, this is my regret. Uh, if you do, then you end up with regretting having to make that decision or that choice. And it's almost like a should have, could have, would have. All right. So we don't want to do that. I'm giving you a heads up here um, and what not to do. If you make up your mind, it may be attached to the holidays. It may be, you know, anything uh, regarding a decision. OK, so once you come up with that decision, you think about it, Taurus, just stick to it. Don't. Um, you know, fold on yourself and don't allow other people to change your mind. So I'm going to just give you an example. This is just purely an example. It may have something to do with traveling, you know, possibly because you it's the holiday season and, you know, you want to travel possibly to see friends and whatnot. But because of what's going on here, um, you may have decided that it's not safe or fair, fair to travel. And then the um, persuasions will come from those entities in terms of visitation. It could be you, you know, having already made up your mind about what you're not going to do or what you're going to do, and then you change your mind, then you give in. But it's always a regret. All right, so that's the bottom line. Don't do that. Judgment card, so you have your fourth major arcana. What's hidden in the dark comes to the light. Gabriel is the uh, archangel. Whenever the judgment card or the hierophant shows up here, it's always about you being spiritually watched over and then also to spiritually being uh, protected. Uh, judgment in itself is the word to uh, make sure that whatever you got going on this upcoming week, that you're not hard or judging yourself too harshly uh, and being critical and definitely uh, you don't want to pass judgment on to other people. You may discover some things about yourself, Taurus, this upcoming week that you didn't know before. You may discover some things about other people 
that you didn't know before. Now, in that case, that could be positive or negative. All depends on you and who you associate with. So, but this is a good card. Uh, but the most important thing is to not be hard on yourself, not pass judgment onto yourself or onto others. That's just not the way life is. All right. Next card up is the Ace of Pentacles. So someone gets a job, starts a job. Someone could be starting a um, investment of some sort of uh, energy. Yeah, starting an investment. Uh, could be just saving money. Now, the Ace of uh, Pentacles uh, showing up here with the Ace of Wands is always auspicious. Two aces in a reading is always uh, auspicious, good energy. So keep that in mind. So something... Uh, good is about to open up for you guys and it may be, you know, it could be work related, could be having to do with money. Ace of Pentacles, however, is an infinite, um, infinite amount of money. So we don't know. Um, it's unlike the wealth card, the Ten of Pentacles, where it could be, you know, an extreme amount of money. But this could be further extreme. But it's an infinite because we don't know exactly. There's no set number. So, yes, there's Ace of Pentacles. It's an offering. So it could be work related. Someone gets a job. Someone could be getting a pay raise. Someone could be getting a bonus and so forth. Last card that finishes you off is the green card. I always say the green card, go card, three of wands. And this is also two traveling. Remember I said, if there's anything related to any types of traveling decisions that you made, uh, it mirrors the Seven of Wands. There's this. Um, so if you made up your mind to travel, then fine, stick with it. If you made up your mind not to travel, and then, you know, if it's related to visiting family, friends or whatever, they're upset, then those wands will represent their energies and trying to persuade you, um, you know, to change your mind or, you know, to get you to come. But if you should happen to succumb, all I'm saying is that, you end up regretting it. There's some sort of regret of energy that could come over or, you know, under, you know, not overtake you, but it could come over the situation. For others, this is just the green light in terms of moving projects uh, forward. This could be relationship related, whatever was stagnant and whatever was uh, lacking progress before. Now you have that boost of energy to move. So you can look at it that way. You can also look at it that um, you could be moving towards something positive, um, Taurus, or something positive is about to move uh, towards you. So those are the messages that I have for you this upcoming week. And just to throw in there, this um, next week's energy, the 28th through January 3rd, will be the last weekly videos that I have I will be doing on YouTube as I take my hiatus uh, for you, but I will be on camera to, you know, talk about that fully um, and give my thanks and uh, well wishes to you all. Um, but in the meantime, I want you to enjoy this holiday season coming up, the close of the year, uh, and hopefully we can, you know, um, 2020 has just been a dreadful year for a lot of people for a lot of reasons, uh, and hopefully that energy of the new year um, turns out to be a little bit uh, more positive and brighter for us. Okay, so Taurus, um, be safe, stay well, stay positive, and I'll talk to you next week. Love and light. Bye.